Okay, again, for our home trainers, uh, this is a good drill for working power and working your accuracy, working some of your different strikes. One of the biggest things with sparring in general, and not, not just sparring with the stick, but just kickboxing, putting your gloves on and, and point sparring, is people forget all of the techniques they know. And it's important that we not forget all of our techniques. So first technique that we're gonna think of or, or that we're gonna do for now is a straight strike across the head. So my arm's gonna come straight out, go across the head and then come back. Across the head and back. As I do this, I wanna put my footwork in now. So I'm gonna do, step back a little bit see me from here. But I'm going to do a, a 180 cat stance turn. So I'll be from here facing to my left to your right in a cat stance. So all of my weight is on one foot. The other foot is barely touching the ground. I'll transfer my weight to this foot and I'll go to my cat stance on this side. Again, I'm not doing this. I'm not leaning into that cat stance because now my weight is on this foot. I don't want to be 50-50, I want to have all of my weight on that back leg. So this foot is just barely touching the ground as I'm hitting. So I'm going to go here, and here, and here, and here, here. always got my alive hand or my guarding hand at my chest. And I can come down with this in X motion. I can come up or straight across, straight the elbows, straight the kneecaps. I'm just getting that one direction and then the other direction footwork down as I'm striking. You're going to add to that now. Along with that, I'm going to have a hand on my wrist. So as I come and I turn to my right, I'm going to push with my other hand. And that's just going to give me some extra speed and extra power because I'm augmenting this strike with my opposite hand. So it's a two-hand two -hand hit. So I come back, I can either go one hand, boom, and two hand back, or I can hold on to it and almost like a baseball bat, but I'm holding my wrist to give me that extra power as I come through. And then I switch hands. Same as before. So I've got all of my hand changes in here. I can come around here, back this way, behind my back, get forward, get back hand. So I can start using my footwork, my 180 degree turn, my head strikes, and my augments, and whenever I'm ready, I just switch hands. So I don't have to stop and switch hands and then go. I'm just immediately going right into the next set. All right, try that. I have a, my footwork and my stick work should just flow together. I shouldn't have to, to do one thing and then stop and do something else. It should be very, very fluid, but it won't be. Not in the beginning, and that's a bad thing, but I want it to be. That's what I want to work toward is having my hands and my feet working together to give me extra power or give me extra speed. So, one of the things that I'll work on is a 90 degree turn 
in a cat stance. This is half of a 180 degree turn in a cat stance. So, get back I think to where you can see my feet. I'm filming all this on my own, so I don't have a cameraman to, to point at my feet. So I think it's pointing at my feet. From here, I'll go from this position in my cat stance. All my weight is on one foot. I don't have any weight going on this foot. It's just touching the ground. And there's a reason for that. That'll come into some of the kicks and things that we'll do later. Um, from our cat stance, all of my weight is already here. And it gives me a little bit more umph as I turn. So I'm gonna go from here, I'll come to here and switch feet. So I'm doing a 90 degree turn. And I've got all of my different strikes that I can do from here. Just working that footwork, going back and forth. Now to change, this foot will come back, the other foot will go out. And then I'm back into my same footwork on the other side. Anytime I can switch hands. And then I switch feet. So I'm here, switch feet, hit you to the side. Here, switch feet, hit you to the side. So to my left, to the front, switch feet to the front, and to my right. back and forth. So pretty easy. One, two, one, two. And I'm making, they call this a C step or a comma step. I'm just doing like a little comma or a little C and changing the direction. C, change my direction. So I'm not doing this. It's very light. Okay, that's our 90 degree turn. Work that, very important. I want to put our 90 degree footwork and our 180 degree footwork together and blend them so I can go any direction that I want without having to think about it. Um, you can use our abecedario strikes or our numerato strikes or you can just do an X, or you can go straight across. The, the trick with this is having your hand move, having your strikes flowing as you are doing all of your footwork. So I'm gonna step back again. So you can kind of see my feet move. I'm gonna go from side to side, 180 to, one ni or to 90 degrees, back and forth, and then to my 180 again. And that's gonna cover every angle around me in kind of a corner or forward, backward, right and left position. So again, pretty easy. For now, I'm just going to do a strike back and forth to the head. But again, you can put any attack, any angle, any strike in here that you want to do. So from here,
So you see that as I do this, I'm just using my 180 degree footwork and my 90 degree footwork, and that's it. It's just that I can put it, I can do 90 degrees, and then I can go 180. So I'm going from the front, switch feet, I'm going to the back. And then I can do a 90 degrees, so I'm sideways. Then I can do 180 degrees, so I'm up this side. Then I can switch feet, I can do 180 to this side. 180 back to this side, switch feet, 180 back to this side, here, 90 degrees. 180 to the back, switch feet, 90 degrees, switch feet, 90 degrees, 180 degrees going this direction. Switch feet and 180. 90, 90, 90, 180. So I can start to combine all of those with my strikes. Whatever strike you want to do is fine uh, because they're all coming across in some way. Okay, again, that's something that's easy to do. Just pick up a stick. You can pick up, you know, anything really. It doesn't have to be a stick, it could be a hammer, it could be a pipe. And just start moving back and forth as you're hitting and working your footwork. Okay, try that.